Governor Holcomb's trade mission to Asia moves on to Korea. Inside Indiana Business Television host Gary Dick has more from the IBG, IBJ Media Studios. Well, Governor Holcomb and the trade group has wrapped up the Taiwan portion of the trade mission. Now it's on to South Korea, where there is a focus on electric vehicle battery production, trying to get jobs and investment from that country to Indiana. The governor and the trade group left Taiwan after signing a memorandum of understanding aimed at increasing investment in jobs in the microelectronic space. I spoke with the governor from Taiwan about Indiana's bid to become a silicon heartland. We are really quite frankly, early in the whole explosion of this, of this industry. And uh, we seek to continue to grow it responsibly, very methodically, and have a broad-based uh, effort as we go forward. The numbers are in for that proposed massive electric vehicle battery plant in northern Indiana. The St. Joseph County Council has given preliminary approval for incentives for Altium Cells to build a, get this, $2.4 billion plant that could create as many as 1,600 jobs. Altium is a joint venture between General Motors and LG Solutions. And from the IBJ, Cluster Truck has the wheels in motion to return to Castleton, built as America's first delivery-only kitchen. Cluster Truck plans on reopening its Northside location the first week of September. Now here's a look at what we're working on for this week's edition of Inside Indiana Business. More of my interview with Governor Holcomb from Taiwan on the state's mission to become a Silicon Heartland. I'll go one-on-one -on -one with college sports guru Mike DeCourcy on the Big Ten's massive multi-billion dollar media deal. Also in the business of sports, I sit down with Colts coach Frank Reich. And you can check out Inside Indiana Business every Sunday morning at 8 on CBS 4.